video for this one. Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobby Land here. Quick thing, a quick amendment to this break right here. Uh, break number 14, National Treasures Baseball, pick your team number 14. Now at the end of the, the break video, I originally, I gave this card to the uh, to the Red Sox, this Joe Cronin card right here. But after, we, we did some research a little bit off air and we realized that there's, that what this, this mistake by Panini, there's really, it, it's hard to say that this goes to one team or another. So out of five Legends cuts, it says Washington right here. The old Washington Senators went to the Minnesota Twins. So you get it right here. Now right here, it says 20 seasons, Mr. Mr. Clutch, Boston. That's his nickname. But now it says Boston and it also says Washington back there. So the front of the card is Washington, but the inside of the card is Boston. Now it'd be easy if they also numbered this, but this is number LCBMJC2. Now, if you go to the Panini checklist on their website, they don't number them by, by JC1 or JC2, right? Now, I guess you could assume that this first JC would be JC1 and the second one would be JC2, but there's no, there's no proper indication of that. It just says card 45 and card 46, and this is the Panini America checklist. So it's kind of complicated, and I think I decided that the that the fair way to do this would to just be to randomize between the two teams. And I think that would be the fairest way to do it just because cardboard connect, it's not clear on cardboardconnection.com because they still number, list it as number 45 or 46. Um, and if it said number 45 or 46 on the back, it'd be pretty easy. And I know normal convention would say that JC2 would be the second one, JC1 would be the first one. But again, I don't have that information in front of, in front of me and I can't necessarily assume that. You know, does JC1 say Boston on the front, Kev California is saying? You checked on eBay? Oh, okay. Well, maybe that makes the difference then. Kevin, can you drop that link for me, please? Oh, maybe, maybe we figured it out. As we're, as we're live, as we're live streaming, my crew here at Jaspies is helping me out. Kev California on breakers.tv slash Jaspies saying he just checked eBay And he's saying that, all right, excellent. All right, yeah, we, we just want to get it right. I mean, that's the, that's the important part, right? All right, so here's one right there. So this is Legends, oh, I see. Well, this one says Washington in the middle. So I think they mixed these all up, didn't they? So it says Boston on the front. No, no, no. Actually, you're right. You're right. So the front and the back of the card, right, are the same. Are the same, right? And then they then they create the inside of the card right here. So if the back says, well, that still doesn't make sense. <laughs> So what's what's the intention of the of the company? You know what I mean? If we look at this auction right here, it's just got to be random, yeah. Because they screwed it up here too because it says Washington on the inside and Boston on the outside. You know what I mean? So are they are what did they intend this to did they intend to have this as Boston on the front or Washington in the middle? Yeah, I think the easiest way to is to just randomize is cuz because it's not clear, you know. It's just not, it's just not clear. So even though the checklist says okay, so JC one is Boston, JC two is Washington, but what if they screw up the middle here? Which part? Which did they screw up? I don't know. You know, what was the? Where does this bat relic even come from? Only only Panini would know. So I think just randomizing it has to be it has to be the has to be the best way. So here we go. Let's go to random.org because it looks like they screwed up that entire run of the Joe Cronins. So Red Sox and Twins at Washington uh, Nationals. So let's roll the dice seven times on that two and a five. 
One, two, this is for break 14. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Goes to the Red Sox, which is who I originally said it would go to. So it's a moot point. Still goes to Boston, Red Sox. Jeremy 33 with that one after the randomizer. He still gets it. Whoop, whoop. And that's it, folks. A little complicated, but I think that was pro that was the fair way to do it. So I appreciate your guys' patience and understanding on this. JaspiesHobbyLine.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye.